Hello everybody, I've got another story for you today. Now this story, I absolutely love this story. I'm going to read you the back first, and then I'll tell you what the story is called. It says, From deep in the woods came a rumbling sound, so grumbly and loud it was shaking the ground. The animals crept up, and what did they see? A huge hairy bear fast asleep in their tree. Oh no, it's the spring party today. The animals tiptoe past with party cakes and wobbling plates until someone makes a very loud noise. Oh no, have they woken the bear? And the story is called... Don't wake the bear hair! Let's have a look. It was spring party day, the best day of the year. So why were the animals trembling with fear? Some rhyming words there. They'd heard a growl, they'd heard growly noises and crept up to see a huge bear asleep in the old hollow tree. Snoozing away. Oh no, they all cried. Our party's today. How can we get ready with him in the way? I'll wake him up cried a little brown hare. No, no, they all whispered. Please don't wake the bear. There he is, look, snoring away. Bears, Badger said, are enormous and hairy. If you wake them up, they get angry and scary. We'll still have our party, though if we take care, be as quiet as mouse so we don't wake the bear. Now they are all planning their party, the spring party. So they tippy-toed off without making a peep to fetch party things while the bear was asleep. And the ants carried wibbling, wobbling stacks of dishes and sauces and cups on their backs. There they are. Look, you nearly can't see the ant down there. Look. It's carrying all the stuff. Ants are very, very strong, actually. Badger brought in a huge jelly dessert. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Then he tripped and it fell with a splat in the dirt. Oh no, look. You can see that. Grump. The bear stretched and grumbled, which gave them a scare. Shh, they all whispered. Please don't wake the bear. The lanterns were carefully hung in the trees. They were nice tied up ribbons, or the mice tied up ribbons that danced on the breeze. They brought in the very last blueberry tart, and their party was almost ready to start. Look at all that food. Hoo -hoo, wouldn't mind a bit of that myself, especially that blueberry tart looks really nice. That bear, though, he's still snoozing away looking that log. I'd be a bit scared if that was me. The hare cried, There's only one thing left to do. And he grabbed a balloon, and he blew, and he blew, and he blew. Oh my goodness, look what's happening. Little balloon, medium balloon, huge balloon, what's going to happen? I think it might. Shall we see if it's going to? And he blew, and he blew, and he blew, till the others cried, stop! If it gets any bigger, it's going to pop! Oh no, I just thought. If it pops, who's going to wake up? I hope not. The bear stretched and groaned, and they all held their breath. Then his eyes flicked open, and he, and he scared them to death. Run! Run and hide! They all cried in despair. Now we're in trouble, we've woken the bear! What's the word despair mean? See if you can find out for me. I don't, I don't know, I've not heard that word before. Who dares wake me up? growled the bear angrily. Look how big he is, look at this. How big he is compared to the hare. Hare said in a small shaky voice, It was me! A, a, a party is going to start very soon. I, I was trying to help, but I popped the balloon. A party? cried Bear with a grin. Could it be a big surprise party, especially for me? Oh, thank you for waking me up, little bunny. I'll come to your party and bring you some honey. A 
I thought he was going to eat them. And now he's being really kind. He's going to, he's giving him a cuddle and he's got some honey. He's going to bring to the party. And even though Bear was enormous and hairy, he f they found he was great fun and not a bit scary. He danced and he partied with everyone there. And they all cheered, hooray for our new friend, the bear. And they are look, all having a good time. What a lovely story. And look, the honey's all gone. What a lovely story because that story tells me that even though the bear looked really scary and they thought, maybe I shouldn't wake him up, he's a bit scary, he might hurt us. Actually, he was really nice and he just wanted to be friends with them, didn't he? So it was a lovely, lovely story. Now, your challenge for Don't Wake the Bear. I would like you to write me a different ending to the story. So we know at the end of the story, if I just flick the page, the bear woke up and he was partying with the animals. But maybe in your story, the bear might wake up and maybe he is really grumpy and scary and maybe he chases the animals off. Maybe he makes the party for the animals maybe after that ending he says i'm gonna hold all of you guys a party and say thank you to you or maybe he might go and introduce them to his friends or his family or maybe he doesn't wake up at all and the animals just have a party without him have a think write me a different ending hopefully see you all again soon see you in the next one